So as a pediatric cardiologist, one of the nice things about what we do is that by the time someone gets to me, all they can think about is my child is seeing a heart doctor. Does he have a heart problem? And how serious is that going to be? So the nice part about my job is that I can get a history from a family, examine a patient, and get the testing I need to then give them an answer. And very commonly, that answer is, there may not be a problem. And what I can provide for people is reassurance uh, and confidence that everything's going to be OK. One of the reasons I became a pediatric cardiologist is I remember the day we got our stethoscope. And that's a big day in medical school. And I remember putting that on and spending some time listening and hearing the sounds. And I thought, my goodness, that's just the most fascinating thing I've ever heard. So I knew maybe that day that I was going to be in a field that involved that and then being you know, trained to understand what we're hearing and how to use that has been very interesting. We have to make sure we have a good listening environment, so we have to have tricks up our sleeve to get little babies who might be scared or cold, uh, you know, to quiet down. So we're very good at making little faces and making little noises and doing things, anything, so we can just make them feel happy and get them to smile and then be able to do our job. A patient will come to an office visit with me and that office visit probably is not going to be in Delaware at Nemours, but rather be in an office either in New Jersey, which is where I spend most of my time. We also have offices in Pennsylvania. And if they need other care, well, they'll come here to Delaware. We also work uh, as part of the team in Delaware. We, we manage, help take care of the patients who've had surgery or require hospital care. And we share that responsibility as well uh, as part of the inpatient team. One of the things that I think is very important in the relationship we have with families is that they should expect from their doctor and they should expect from their team that their questions are going to be answered. It's very easy for us to sort of talk in doctor talk and use lots of big words with lots of syllables. But our role is to provide accurate information in a way that families can then interpret and understand. And I tell families, if I do my job right, you're not going to have any questions at the end. She's enjoying all that too, I think.